Today I'm going to talk about our findings on the role of HMGB1 in apoptosis mediated sepsis lethality. Here is a summary of what I'm going to talk about. We know that during sepsis, bacterial toxins can activate macrophages to release cytokines, including HMGB1. HMGB1 can cause tissue damage and, and death in sepsis. Sepsis also cause cell apoptosis. We found that apoptotic cells can also activate macrophages to release HMGB1 and thus tissue damage. Anti-HMGB1 treatment in the, either by caspase inhibitor to inhibit apoptosis or by HMGB1 antibodies to inhibit HMGB1 activity or can suppress HMGB1 activity and improve survival in sepsis. We know that sepsis causes lymphocytes apoptosis, and apoptosis contributes to energy, which means cells do not respond to stimuli, and uh, consequently immunosuppression, which is seen in sepsis. Many studies have shown that anti-apoptosis treatment is beneficial in sepsis. For example, Hotchkiss et al. from St. Louis showed that Treatment with caspase inhibitor can improve survival in sepsis model induced by secant ligation puncture CLP. As shown here, mice had a CLP surgery to induce peritonitis and sepsis and received treatment of either caspase inhibitors or control peptide. And the survival of animal is shown here. Compared to control um, peptide-treated animals, caspase inhibitor treatment significantly improved survival in sepsis. Even though anti-apoptosis treatment is beneficial in sepsis, it improves survival, but we do not know how does apoptosis cause organ damage and, and the death in sepsis. Because we know that apoptosis itself is not lethal. It causes immunosuppression, but that itself does not kill. We know that HMGB1 is a critical mediator in sepsis mortality. So we want to know what's the role of HMGB1, what's the relationship of HMGB1 and apoptosis. Does apoptosis also release HMGB1 release? And whether the whether inhibit apoptosis also inhibit HMGB1 release? The first approach we took was to see whether inhibiting Apoptosis also inhibiting HMGB1 release. And first, we used the cell culture, um, macrophage cell cultures. And we used a general caspase inhibitor, ZVAD, FMK, and the control peptide. And macrophage like raw cells were stimulated with LPS, which is a bac bacterial toxin and, and is known to cause apoptosis. And the cells were added with either control peptide or this caspase inhibitor, ZVAD. As shown here, compared to the control group, LPS-induced HMGB1 release was those dependently reduced with ZVAD treatment. Likewise, LPS-induced TNF and IL-6 release were also significantly reduced by ZVAD treatment which indicate that ZVAD, the caspase inhibitor, also reduces LPS-induced HMGB1 release and other cytokine release. 